So as guitarists, we all strive for having nice clean technique. And now while I teach this and I aspire to play very clean myself, today I'm gonna to show you two examples of where we can intentionally get dirty. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. David Chiraboga here and welcome back to another Spanish guitar tip of the week. So while I normally teach people to play their rasgueados nice and clean, very separate and very punchy, what we're gonna work with today is playing a little bit more of a slurred rasgueado, which you drag the fingers. Normally we want a quick spurt. We don't wanna drag the fingers, but today we're gonna drag and overlap the fingers to create a slurred rasgueado sound. Now the first example that we're gonna use a dirtier sound with is when we use the thumb to strum a chord. Now in flamenco, when we wanna accent or emphasize a chord, we can do this in a few different ways. The first way would be to just play it a little bit louder. The second way would be to add a golpe to it. And the third way would be to add this slurred, dirtier rasgueado. So listen to both examples, just the thumb alone strumming the chord and then the thumb with the slurred rasgueado to see if you can hear that heavier sound, heavier, more accented sound. Tell me in the comments if you can hear the difference. Now the way we do this is by flicking out the ring, middle, index, right before the thumb comes out. Now, like I said before, normally we want a nice separate sound, but not in this case. In this case, we want it nice and slurred. We want it to drag across the strings. We want it to drag across the strings and we also want it to kind of overlap each other. So as this one's going down, this one's already coming while this one's still hitting some of these and so forth with the index finger and then the thumb coming, following right through. It's kind of hard to do it in slow motion, but it would be somewhat like this. Also, as far as form goes, after we drag the fingers out, when the thumb starts coming down, the wrist pushes down and kind of twists a little bit towards the end. So we could use this technique in multiple scenarios, but let me show you another example. Let me show you how you could throw it into a rumba if you wanted to accent the chords every time we did a change. So the second way that we can use a dirty or slurred rasgueado would be when you want to play a long sustained rasgueado, a continuous rasgueado. For example, maybe you want to give a long sustained rasgueado for somebody to improvise to without any tempo yet. Or maybe you're working with a singer and you're starting an introduction to a song that doesn't have a tempo, but you're just trying to create a little bit of that tone in the ambiance. Now for something like this, you can use any of the three primary rasgueados, but I would personally use the two finger rasgueado using the ring and the index finger. Index up and then down with the ring, down with the index. Now again, normally if we were playing this, I would say keep everything nice and separate, nice and punchy, full range, no overlapping, no slurring. In this case, we want the total opposite of that. We want to slur each finger. We want a little overlapping while this one's coming up. Maybe start up the other one already. Also, another way to get this slurred rasgueado sound is by not getting a full range of motion and not really digging in. So just skimping on top of the strings, just right above. All right, those were the two ways that I intentionally get dirty and create a nice effect with my guitar playing, adding another tool to my toolbox for creating different tones and sounds when I'm playing. So give it a try. Let me know what you think in the comments. Tell me if you were able to get that. And if you need any more help with it, feel free to drop some questions in the comment box.